Dr. Chen joins us now uh, with something that you're asking about when it comes to health and wellness. I feel like sending you a hug all the way I to the know. West Coast. We need you back in New York. We miss you. But Dr. Chen, I'm, I'm coming back. I know you'll be back soon. Let's talk about this. Um, a lot of parents want to know this. Um, Liz S. asks, how can I safely introduce peanut butter to my child? And I have to tell you, Dr. Jen, when my older two were babies, the popular thing to do, and this was, you know, eight years ago, um, was to, and I'm not kidding, parents would drive to a hospital and then give their baby some peanut butter in the parking lot to see if they were allergic. Well, listen, that's a little extreme, but I understand the apprehension, obviously, particularly with stories like we're hearing. Um, you know, I suffer from life-threatening food allergies as well, so I can't imagine the fear uh, and the anxiety that parents can feel. But listen, number one, talk to your child's pediatrician because they deal with this type of counseling every single day. But the American Academy of Pediatrics generally recommends that in a, in a baby without eczema without a history of food allergies that you can start to introduce things like peanut butter gradually at four to six months of age you don't want to use a chunky peanut butter you want to dilute it a little bit with some water just so that it's not a choking hazard and then give a tiny amount and observe that child for about 15 to 20 minutes anything that you see in terms of swelling hives itching if their eyes swell um, if there's any discoloration obviously around their mouth you want to get them to an emergency room. Um, but this can be done safely and effectively, and pediatricians walk parents through this all the time. You guys, there's also data that pregnant women who eat peanut butter may lower the risk of having a fetus or a child with a uh, peanut allergy. But again, this is a very real issue. Well, certainly, and the best advice from the doctor there. What's your prescription for wellness? Well, this comes literally right from, from my world, um, and it's not only what I follow, but I, what I recommend to patients as well. You should have an allergy go bag if you suffer from any type of life-threatening allergy um, like I do. So here's what's in my bag, an epinephrine auto-injector. I actually carry two in case, you know, one gets damaged or someone else uses it incorrectly. Benadryl, diphenhydramine, the antihistamine um, is in that bag, and that's available over the counter and then steroids by prescription. Methylprednisolone um, is the faster acting version of prednisone, um, but I have all three of those on my person all the time. So that's something you can talk to your health care provider about. All right, thank you, Dr. Jen. That's the best advice. Bring two just in case mm -hmm. one doesn't work one, well. Just in case. Yeah, and you can submit your health and wellness questions to us here at ABC GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.